Good morning students. Today we are going to start with the third chapter of the book Flamingo Deep Water. Before we begin with the reading of the chapter, let us read about the author. William Douglas from 1898 to 1980 was born in Maine, Minnesota after graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in English and Economics. He spent two years teaching high school in Yakima. However, he got tired of this and decided to pursue a legal career. He met Franklin D. Roosevelt at Yale and became an advisor and friend to the president. Douglas was a leading advocate of individual rights. He retired in 1975 with a term lasting 36 years and remains the longest serving justice in the history of the court. The following excerpt is taken from Of Men and Mountains by William O. Douglas. It reveals how as a young boy, William Douglas nearly drowned in a swimming pool. In this essay, he talks about his fear of water and thereafter how he finally overcame it. Notice how the autobiographical part of the selection is used to support his discussion of fear. So this story, it has been taken from the author's autobiography of Men in Mountains. In this piece, he tells about his fear of water and how he conquered it by determination and willpower. Now let us read the chapter. It had happened when I was 10 or 11 years old. I had decided to learn to swim. There was a pool at the YMCA. So YMCA is a place in Yakima that offered exactly the opportunity. The Yakima river was treacherous. Treacherous means dangerous and Yakima is a place in Washington, USA. Yakima and YMCA pool and as I said treacherous, treacherous means dangerous. So what he is saying that he narrates his experience. He was 10 or 11 years old when he had joined the YMCA swimming pool to learn swimming. He did not go to Yakima river to swim as it was considered dangerous as it was considered treacherous and this shows that he had a prior fear of water. Continuing with it, mother continually warned against it and kept fresh in my mind the details of each drowning in the river. But the YMCA pool was safe. So what mother used to do? She used to warn him not to go near the Yakima river and often discuss the various incidents of drowning. It was only two or three feet deep at the shallow end. So now he talks about the YMCA pool. He says that it was safer and it was two or three feet deep at the shallow and end. And while it was nine feet deep at the other the drop was gradual. The drop was gradual. Drop means the slope from the shallow area to the deep area. So it was gradual and uh, I got a pair of water wings and went to the pool. I hated to walk naked into it and show my skinny. Skinny means thin. So he hated to show his thin legs but I subdued my pride and did it. Subdued means to overcome my pride. Pride means self-respect. So he says that though he did not like to wear the swimming costume because it exposed his thin legs but since he was a keen he was keen to swim. He gave up his self-respect and wore it. 
From the beginning, however, I had an aversion. Aversion means dislike to the water when I was in it. This started when I was three or four years old. So he had an aversion. He developed dislike towards water when he was three or four years old. Uh, at that time, his father he took him to the beach of California, and he and his father stood together in the surf. Surf means wave of the sea. I hung on to him, yet the waves knocked me down. Knocked me down means threw him down and swept over me. I was buried in water. My breath was gone. I was frightened. Father laughed, but there was terror in my heart at the overpowering force of the waves. Overpowering means powerful force of the waves. So he says that when he stood with his father, a wave leapt towards them, and he stuck to his father to save himself. But the strong wave threw him down, and he was covered in water. He was scared as he couldn't breathe. His father laughed and tried to make him feel comfortable, but the child was scared when he realized that the waves were so powerful. My introduction to the YMCA swimming pool revived. Revived means brought back to mind. Brought back to mind. What it revived? <coughs> Unpleasant memories. And stirred childish. Stirred means arose. Childish fears. But in a little while, I gathered confidence. I paddled. Paddled means moved. With my new water wings. So, he gathered confidence by watching other boys swim. And he tried to copy them. I paddled with my new water wings, watching the other boys and trying to learn by aping them. Aping means copying them. I did this two or three times on different days and was just beginning to feel at ease. To feel at ease means to feel comfortable in the water when the misadventure happened. So, he says that <coughs> he went, uh, I mean, he went to the pool uh, and there he started gaining confidence when the incident happened and he had a narrow escape from death. So, he was only, uh, I mean, it was his first introduction to the YMCA pool and when he went there, his childish fears, his old memories, they were revived and uh, but soon he gathered his confidence and using his new water wings, he started paddling in the water, watching the other boys and uh, tried to learn by copying them. And he did this twice or thrice on different days and later on he started gaining confidence and he began to feel uh, comfortable in the water and uh, in the water where he happened to witness this misadventure. Further, he says that I went to the pool with, when no one else was there. The place was quiet, the water was still and the tiled bottom was as white and clean as a bath tub. I was timid about going in alone so I sat on the side of the pool to wait for others. Tiled means tiled floor. Timid means fearful. So what he says that when he reached the pool, he found nobody was there and so he sat on the edge waiting for other boys to arrive. And he was afraid to swim all alone in the pool. As the swimming pool was em empty, he could see the bottom also. So the water was clear, water was not dirty and it was transparent and you could see the tiled bottom he says that it had white 
colored tiles on it and looked white and clean like a bath tub. I had not been there long when in came a big bruiser of a boy, probably 18 years old. He had thick hair on his chest. He was a beautiful physical specimen with legs and arms that showed rippling muscles. He yelled, hi skinny, how do you like to be a duct? So bruiser, what does bruiser mean? A person who is tough and aggressive and enjoys a fight or argument. Specimen means example. Skinny, a thin person. Dunk, push someone under water. So this is bruiser. Then specimen. Then skinny and duck. So it's, he says that it had not been long since he was sitting by the pool when a boy arrived and he was around 18 years of age, had a well-built body and rippling muscles. He seemed to be as a bully. Bully means who tries to uh, frighten others and show his power and he asked William if he want to be thrown into the pool. With that he picked me up and tossed me into the deep end. So after saying this that bruiser he picked William and tossed him, tossed him means threw him into the deep end. I landed in a sitting position, swallowed water and went at once to the bottom. I was frightened but not yet frightened out of my wits. So he says that that boy he picked William and threw him into the deep end of the swimming pool. William landed on the surface of the pool in the same position as he had been sitting in. His mouth was open and as he did not know swimming, he swallowed water and as he sank into the pool, he says that he was frightened but he was not yet frightened out of my wits. Wits means intelligence. So he says that uh, though he was frightened but he used his intelligence and on his way down the pool, what he did on the way down, I planned when my feet hit the bottom, I would make a big jump, come to the surface, lie flat on it and paddle to the edge of the pool. So what he planned that he would make a big jump, come to the surface, lie and paddle on the edge of the pool. It seemed a long way down, those nine feet, nine feet were more like ninety. And before I touched bottom, my lungs were ready to burst. So he was feeling pressure. But when my feet hit bottom, <coughs> I summoned, Summon means gathered all my strength and made what I thought was a great spring upwards. Great spring. Spring means jump. <coughs> Excuse me. So he says that when he was going down, he found it to be a long day, a long way down and the pool was just 9 feet deep but he found it to be 90 and before he touched the bottom, he says that his lungs were ready to burst. And uh, the moment he hit the bottom, he summoned all his strength, he gathered all his strength and <clears throat> made what I thought was a great spring. Means he thought that after hitting the uh, bottom, now he is taking a great jump upwards. I imagine I would bob. Bob means again jump. 
to the surface like a cock. Instead, I came up slowly and I opened my eyes and saw nothing but water. So when he reached, not reached, but he was in the water, what he saw, what he uh, experienced, he says that I came up slowly, though he thought that I would take a big jump and would reach the surface, but instead I came up slowly, I opened my eyes and saw nothing but water, water that had a dirty yellow tinge, dirty yellow tinge. Tinge. Tinge means the touch of color. I grew panicky. Panicky means fearful. He got afraid. I reached up as if to grab, hold a rope and my hands clutched. Clutched means grabs, grasped only at water. So when he was trying to get hold of a rope, he, he was only able to grasp water in his hands i was suffocating suffocating you know it means unable to breathe due to lack of air i tried to yell yell means scream but no sound came out then my eyes and nose came out of the water but not my mouth so here he says that when he was going down, he took a long time to reach the bottom of the pool and it seemed that the depth, the depth was 90 feet instead of 9 feet. He could not hold his breath and felt as if his lungs would burst. When his feet touched the bottom of the pool, he gathered all his strength and jumped upwards. He had thought that the next moment he would come out of the pool but the opposite happened. His movement upwards was slow and when he opened his eyes he saw water all around which was yellowish in color. He got scared and tried to grab something. He tried to grab a rope but uh, that would help him to reach the edge of the pool but what happened he got nothing other than water and he was at loss of breath and tried to scream for help but no sound came out of his mouth and his nose and eyes they came out of the water but his mouth it remained in it i flailed at the surface of the water flailed means waved his hands Swallowed and choked. Swallowed and choked. Choked means unable to breathe. So he says that when he reached the surface, he waved his hands out of the water for help. But he swallowed water and choked himself. I tried to bring my legs up, but they hung as dead weights. So he tried to lift his legs but they were hanging like dead weights they were he they, he felt paralyzed and rigid rigid means hard so he tried to pull his legs up but they were very heavy and lifeless he felt that something was pulling him down pulling him towards the depth of the pool so he says a great force was pulling me under i screamed scream means cried he cried but only the water heard me so since he was inside the pool he screamed but his voice it did not go out of the water i had started on the long journey back to the bottom of the pool started on the long journey back to the water of the pool wants to say that once again he started going down towards the bottom of the pool I struck at the water as I went down, expanding my strength as expanding my strength as one in a nightmare fights an irresistible force. Expanding means losing. It is not E X P A N, it is E X P E N. So the meaning is losing or giving out his strength. 
as one in a nightmare. Nightmare means bad dream. Fights an irresistible. Irresistible means that can't be faced. So he was fighting with a bad dream with uh, and with an irresistible force. That was an irresistible force. It uh, cannot be faced. He says that I had lost all my breath. My lungs ached. Ached means pained. So he had used all his strength to get out of water. He was struggling. He was fighting. But he was still going down. So my lungs ached. My head throbbed. Throbbed means felt pain in a series of beats. I hope uh, I think you must have experienced when you suffer from a headache or when you are in too much pressure you feel like someone is beating on your head I was getting dizzy dizzy means unsteady or faint but I remembered the strategy though he was getting uh, unsteady he was fainting but still he remembered his strategy and what was his strategy that he would spring from the bottom of the pool and come like a cock to the surface and he would lie on flat on the water strike out his arms thrash with his legs and then he would be at the edge of the pool and be safe so this was his strategy though he was uh, getting unconscious but still he could recollect the plan to save himself as his feet touch the bottom he would take a leap and jump to the surface in a jiffy then he would lie on his back hit the strokes with his limbs and reach to the edge of the pool to safety so this was his strategy that he would thrash with his legs thrash means hit with force but what happened i went down down endlessly i opened my eyes nothing but water with a yellow glow dark water that one could see through so he was continuously going down and when he opened his eyes what he could see only water with a yellow glow yellow glow means yellow tinge dark water that one could not see through so he was unable to see through that water and then sheer stark sheer means only stark means severe terror seized me gripped me terror that knows no understanding terror that knows no control terror that no one can understand who has not experienced it who has not experienced it means who has not experienced drowning so he was caught in a terror a stark a severe terror and he say that the terror in which he was caught nobody could understand nobody has control over it and it can be understood only by the one who has experienced it I was shrieking under water. He was shrieking. He was screaming. I was paralyzed under water. Paralyzed under water means he was incapable of movement. Stiff, rigid with fear. Even the screams in my throat were frozen. Means choked. Only my heart and the pounding pounding means repeated beating in my head said that i was still alive so he says that his feeling cannot be explained but it can only be understood by those who have experienced a similar situation he says that he was screaming in the water he was unable to move due to the fear his screams also froze his throat was choked and only his heartbeat and the beating in his head indicated that he was alive. And then 
in the midst of the terror came a touch of reason reason means here sensible conduct means he could think of i must remember to jump when i hit the bottom at last i felt the tiles under me my toes reached out as if to grab them i jumped with everything i had i jumped with everything i had so in the midst of means in between the phase of terror he was gripped in terror uh, so he says that in that phase he recollected the plan that he had to take a jump as he touched the bottom of the pool as he felt the tiles of the bottom of the pool his feet used all the strength he had and he jumped up but the jump made no difference he with his all his strength he tried to jump up but his effort they went in vain the water was still around me i looked for ropes so what he looked for ropes ladders water wings nothing but water a mass of yellow water held me mass means heap of water it held him stark terror took an even deeper hold on me like a great charge of electricity so he says when he looked around for help for the things like rope ladder or water wing with the help of which he could rescue himself he says that he could only see water all around him it was as if a mass of yellow water a chunk of yellow water had grabbed him the terror grew intense he says na that terror took an deeper hold on me means it grew in intensity like a charge of electricity it was like an electric shock he says that i shook and trembled with fright so he trembled with fright he was trembling with fear my arms wouldn't move my legs wouldn't move so he said that he could neither move his arms nor his legs i tried to call for help to call for mother nothing happened so he was unable to move his limbs and he was unable to call out for help and then strangely there was light i was coming out of the awful yellow water at least my eyes were my nose was almost out too so here he says that he was um, i mean something strange happened and william was able to see a light his eyes they came out of water but his nose even his nose was almost out of it then i started down a third time now for the third time he was going down so remember how many times he went inside the pool after trying to come out of it this was the third time he was getting in i sucked sucked means inhaled for air but got only water the yellowish light was going out then all efforts ceased ceased means stopped ended i relaxed means rested even my legs felt limp limp means lifeless and a blackness swept over my brain so he says that for the third time he started going downwards into the pool he tried to breathe but gulped water instead the light went out as he drowned again so 
so, uh, before this we read that there was light and his eyes were out of water but when he started going downwards into the pool for the third time the light went out as he drowned again and then he stopped making efforts to save him self so he says that all efforts ceased i relaxed my legs felt limp they felt lifeless and blackness swept over my brain means his brain experienced a blackout it wiped out fear it wiped out terror there was no panic so uh, the pa all kinds of terror all kinds of fear they ended and he did not panic it was quiet and peaceful so he became quiet and experienced peace quiet and peaceful nothing to be afraid of this is nice to be drowsy it's nice to be carried gently to float along in space tender arms around me tender arms like mothers now i must go to sleep drowsy means do dozing so here he says that he became quiet and experienced peace and he was not afraid of drowning any more he felt sleepy he was tired to jump up felt nice to be carried in his mother's arm as he felt sleepy mark this line i crossed to oblivion and the curtain of life fell oblivion means the state of being unaware or unconscious of what is happening around one curtain of life fell means life came to an end so william he became unconscious and he drifted away towards death so we will leave this here only and i'll continue the chapter in the next lecture i hope this much you have understood now you can see the questions on your right think as you read what is the misadventure that william douglas speak about what were the series of emotions and fears that douglas experienced when he was thrown into the pool what plans did he make to come to the surface how did this experience affect him so i want you to answer these questions tomorrow uh, not tomorrow means on wednesday i will see the answers to these questions and then i will move forward with the explanation of the chapter okay thank you and have a nice day